Welcome back to Around the Table with Stacey Smith as we take a look at the political scene uh, in and around Pennsylvania. And uh, Governor just mentioned this. Fundraising efforts are in full swing and incumbent Democratic Senator Bob Casey of Pennsylvania is hauling in a lot of money for his reelection campaign, more than $4 million in the period of April through June. But he doesn't have an opponent yet. However, there is a lot of speculation that David McCormick is going to seek the GOP nomination, and already a PAC has raised more than a million dollars to support him. They did it in about less than a month. So, Jim, what kind of a campaign are we looking at if it is a Casey versus McCormick election? Well, what I think you will see is a lot of money. Uh, it's, it's a state that they want to get back into the red column and taking a Senate seat. That, that would be a huge coup for them. Uh, I think that you will see Mr. McCormick having as much resource, as many resources as he needs in order to be successful. Uh, but you're going up against a, an entrenched incumbent uh, who was wildly popular in this state, whose father was a governor, who was in his third term, who was a statewide auditor general for four years. Uh, so I think it's going to be as much money as the GOP may spend here. I still think Mr. Casey, A, will be able to raise as much as he needs to hold that seat and B, He's he's born and raised here. Mr. McCormick is coming back in. Uh, I did retail politics with Senator Casey in 2012 when I was state chairman, all 67 counties. Uh, he did not need advance sheets from his staff. An advance sheet when you're about to go into a town or a county, your team will give you a little scoop of what's going on, what the issues are, who the individuals are you're meeting. He never needed any of that. He already knew who they were. Retail will always win. And Mr. Casey knows Pennsylvania like the back of his hand. Mr. C Mr. McCormick will be an articulate candidate on the issues, but he's going up against an icon and a retail politician who has been a successful incumbent. Senator Burdick used to tell me, you think it's tough to elect somebody? Try to unelect them, especially when they're producing. Case in point, Bob Casey. I, I, I agree with what uh, Jim is saying in that respect. It's still going to be a close race. Uh, the presidential ticket is going to be leading everything that's going on, and this can have an influence depending on who the candidates are. If there's a, a different Democrat and a different Republican running for the president, that's going to take focus away from the Senate race. If it's the same one, the Senate race is going to be extremely key in this. There, there will be no shortage of money for either side in this one. And I would say Mr. McCormick would have been a much better candidate two years ago than the candidate that we put up. He is a Pennsylvania. He was born and raised in Pennsylvania, the eastern side of the state. Now resides here in, in the uh, Pittsburgh area, uh, much more articulate when it comes to the issues of governing. It'll be a close race, but incumbency is always an advantage. You know, David McCormick is a, a very attractive candidate. I think he surprised and disappointed some of his friends and supporters in his last race. Uh, he went so far to the right uh, to, to beat Dr. Oz. Um, that that he's he's still going to have to live with that, you know. He's he still has to come back from from the extreme right, and I suspect that Democrats will run against him as if he's the new Oz, uh, because he went a little too far out there. Speaking of that sort of idea, though, the uh, Post Gazette had a, an article a couple of weeks ago, maybe about uh, Senator Casey is now drifting away from the solid total support of 99 percent of legislation uh, voting for the Biden administration. He's down to like 78 percent of voting for that. So he's isn't he kind of trying to, to, to drift toward the middle more at this point? Well, he may be, but I'll take 78 percent any day. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a good number. That's a very good number. Yeah, but but but, but, the, but the point is, I'm making is is that you know, while you say that you know McCormick is is going to have to you know have this history of going far right, uh, Casey right now isn't isn't he trying to to peel back a little bit from being far left? Yeah, he he may he may be uh, swinging a tad towards uh, the center, uh, but you know I don't want somebody who follows the uh, uh, executive branch in lockstep. You know, uh, uh, but uh, whatever his little swing is towards the center, it's nothing compared to the huge swing that Dave McCormick took to the right. I don't you know, he's going to face all those things in 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 the uh, uh, in the television ads against him. He absolutely will. I mean, you know, there's a difference between uh, voting at 78 percent and sometimes off the reservation from time to time versus campaigning and shilling to an extreme and then having to walk those statements back when you're trying to. Uh, curry favor from moderate thinking Democrats and Republicans alike. That's the paradox. 
that he put himself in. He said these things to try to placate a radicalized right wing base. And now he's going to have to explain to all voters. And we will make sure he does that uh, as to what he what he was saying. And did he stand by it? Does he stand by it now? And it's going to turn off moderate Republicans, Democrats and, and, and independents as well. So, Governor, doesn't don't the Republicans have an opportunity here to take a look at, at the Casey record through a couple of sure. terms? A- a- absolutely. And as to what he's actually accomplished and, you know, my friends on the Democrat side will say he's accomplished a lot. And I know Republicans will say, what major bill is his bill? Um, they'll go after his record to a certain extent. The fact that he is not voting with the president as much right now, that's not unusual in any political campaign uh, for a senator in, anywhere in the country. you got to have some independence, and he's finally demonstrating. And that's what they'll say. Well, he's just doing that for the election, and he'll go back to being you know, Biden's person from there on after if Biden wins, or whoever the Democrat candidate is. Do you think what you just said is what the attack will be from the Republican, whether it be McCormick or whoever, that what has Senator Casey done? Is that the line of attack Republicans might I, take? I, there are people that would be talking about that. The easiest thing to do is to see what the polling is. Uh, and they will do the polling if they haven't already done some polling as to what's the best way to attack uh, Senator Casey and his record or lack thereof. But all of you agree a lot of money is going to be coming into this campaign. Will, will it be more than the last time, last senate, senatorial campaign? How much was it? It'll be good for business, Stace. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't have the last number. I don't have the numbers from the last cycle available. Uh, but I don't it will be. I, it, 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 it will match it. I, I suspect it will match it, if not uh, pass it. it up, because yeah. you have a presidential cycle along with a senatorial cycle. In, in the coordinated campaign we ran in 2012 with Obama Casey, there was a lot of money coming through the coordinated campaign back then. I can only imagine what it's going to look like in 2024. Yeah. All right. All right. We have to take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 